Assalamualaikum and very good evening to all of you. Welcome back to the class BAA for uh, BAA 2213, the reinforced concrete design. In the class today, we will discuss about the last topic of beam design, which is the deflection. Okay, class, uh, I believe you already gone through the theory of the deflections from the notes. Okay, from these notes. Okay, the theoretical part of deflection, how to determine the deflections, how to check the allowable and the actual deflections. Okay, uh, and of course the allowable deflection must be greater than the actual deflection. Okay, so this is how to get the bending moment. Okay, this is the part of deflection and this is how to check the deflections. The allowable must be Okay, the, the actual must be lesser than the, the allowable and the allowable is the by using this one uh, this is the, the allowable is L of D basic times the correction factor we have three types of correction factor which is the due to the the steel reinforcement okay, due to the span and also due to the sorry okay due to the the, the existence of flange okay so let's uh, without any, any delay let's uh, start with our our exercise okay this is our exercise which is uh, exercise 11 strongly related to the okay uh, quite similar to example 1.10 in our module but i changed uh, some value so this is the 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 situations let's start now bismillahirrahmanirrahim Okay, this is this is the first of all, this is the text information. So you must be able to uh, extract the main point. Okay, Le let's say this is the main point. So the spanning, okay, beam spanning is seven meter, and then this it is uh, simply supported. Okay, simply supported. This is the important point, and then the spanning is seven meter. Okay, and L is equal to uh, okay mm okay the width is equal to two to five this is the width of the beam and the depth of the beam is five five zero so the width is B equal to two to five uh, millimeter and the depth uh, the total H okay depth is H is five five zero mm okay and then the area of tension still required is 1109 so the area of uh, as uh, required is equal to 1109 mm square and the area of compression still required is 345 okay area of still required but for compressions as prime required is 345 mm square and then the bar H, 4H20 and 2H60 are provided for the tension and compression reinforcement still respectively. It means uh, 4H20 is for tension. Okay, we write down one by one. Okay, AS uh, provided okay, for tension is 4H20. Okay, what is the uh, area? Can somebody check the table? And then the for compression reinforcement, okay, two H sixteens are provided for compression reinforcement. So AS uh, required uh, S prime provided is equal to two H sixteen. So what is the total area of steel reinforcement? Can somebody check for me? S provided. What is the value for S provided? 1257. Okay, good. 1257 mm square. And how about the AS prime provided? 402. Okay, thank you. 402 mm square. Okay, actually, we check the deflection after the. We check the deflection after the full design. Means uh, as a last. Uh, as a last step. Okay, before the design is passed or fail, 
we checked for the deflection. Okay, first we we designed for the flexural reinforcement or but or, or for the for the bending, and then we designed for the shear reinforcement, and then we checked for the for the deflection. Okay, so that's why we already get the AS required. Uh, AS required and AS provided for both uh, co uh, compression and uh, tension. Okay. Uh, next. Uh, okay. Uh, we have uh, the other information is the strength of uh, concrete strength is uh, 30 and steel strength is 500. So the concrete strength FCK is equal to 30 Newton per millimeter square and uh, FYK for steel is 500 newton per millimeter square and uh, okay the non nominal cover c nominal uh, usually is given but in the real practice you have to determine by yourself based on the situations okay I, uh, which is uh, based on the environment exposure and uh, based on the fire resistance okay c nominal is given as uh, 30 mm okay 30 mm and the uh, Diameter of shear reinforcement, okay. Diameter of link is equal to 8 mm. Okay, so diameter is given here. The diameter of, okay, for tension and for compression is 20. And okay, let's say this is the main bar for tension. At the bottom, okay, because this is the beam is, uh, we check for the beam uh, at the mid span, of course, we, because a simple supporter and the deflection, for deflection, we check at the, at the mid span so please remember so as provided is at the uh, as provided is for h20 is at the bottom or at the top at the bottom at the top class For H20, is at the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the at the bottom part or at the top part of the uh, beam? Let's see, this is our beam. Okay, just a simple sketch. Okay, you know the B, you know the H. Okay, for H20, at the top or at the bottom? Bottom. Okay, bottom. because this is it. At we span good. One, two, three, four. Okay, tension occurred at the bottom and 2H16 is at the at the top. Okay, so this is 2H16, uh, 4H20 uh, and for the shear, uh, for the for the link we have okay. diameter is equal to 8. Okay, so uh, the first solution is we have to determine the value of D. Okay. Okay. First solution is. Okay, this is the solution. Okay. First is. Okay. Uh, determine the D, which is equal to H minus C nominal minus diameter of link minus uh, diameter of main bar over 2 so equal to 550 minus c nominal is 30 minus link minus 20 or minus 16 which diameter we have to use 20 20 okay because the d is from top of the surface to the here okay this is our our d so is equal to 20 over 2 so any any answer for for me please the value of d five zero two okay five zero two mm okay and then the second solution is to determine the Okay, the second is determine the L over D. Okay, let's say this is A, this is B. Okay, allowable. Okay, and uh, first, K 
Okay, the check the value of rho is equal to AS uh, required over BD is equal to required is 1109 over B is equal to 225 plus times 502. Okay, what is the answer now? Anybody have answer here? Anybody? Siapa yang selalu jawab? Um, Doctor, 0 0.00981. Okay, thank you. 0098. Okay, and then the second step is to check the row uh, node. Okay, row node is equal to FCK uh, Square actually f square square times 10 to the power of 3 equal to k square root of f k 30 times 10 to the power of 3. What is the value of our row naught? Anybody, please? 0 0.0055. 0 0.0055. Okay, thank you. And then step number three is uh, row prime is equal to AS uh, prime required divided by BD. So equal to 345 divided by 225 plus 502 uh, times 502. So equal to 0 0.0031, okay? And then we select the, this is important class, please uh, uh, pay attention. We select the value of K equal to, okay, this is the table. To select the value of K, you have the, this notes, or you can refer to table 7.4N in Eurocode 2. So this is uh, the value of K for Okay, this is uh, the value of our K. Okay, and our system is simply supported beam. For simply supported beam, or if we check the slab, uh, this is a, simple, a one or two way simply supported slab, the value of K is equal to 1.0. If the uh, beam, okay, let's say, just talk about beam first. Let's say the we want to check the deflection at the end span of a continuous beam. The value of k is equal to 1.3, but uh, for if the beam is located at the interior span of a continuous beam, the value of k is equal to 1.5. So uh, please uh, get to know how to check this three value. And then our k is 1.0, for our case is simply supported beam. So 1.0 for uh, uh, simply supported. Okay, and then uh, we check for the, okay, number five, number, number six, uh, number five, okay, this is number four, this is number five, okay, L over D basic, okay, we have two equations, okay, we have two equations, you must select which equation to use. Okay, either equation 7.16a or 7.16b. 7 okay, uh, how to how to check is this is uh, depend on the value of we compare the value of rho to the rho naught. Okay, we calculated before. If the rho is uh, lesser than or equal to rho naught, so we use the this equation, the equation a, and then equation b is if the our rho is greater than the rho naught. So uh, here, our since our row is equal to 0 
which is greater than uh, 0 0.0055. Okay, the row node here. So our row greater than our row node. So the equation is we use this equations. Okay, equations uh, 7.16b. Okay, we use this equation. You must know how to select use. Okay, equation 7.16b. Okay, L over D basic is equal to K okay, times 11 plus 1.5. Just write down the equations. Okay, FCK times row naught over row over row prime plus 1 over 12. FCK row naught over row or row prime over row naught. Okay. Okay, so you just uh, insert the value to the equations. So you will get L over D basic is equal to uh, K. Our K is 1.0. Okay, and then 1.5 times uh, square root of 30 okay, times 0 0.0055 divided by 0 0.0098 minus 0 0.0031. Okay, my advice is you just calculate one by one, okay? To, in order to avoid a mistake, okay? During using the your calculator, maybe you might, uh, you might uh, do mistake uh, uh, during set up the programming. So you better calculate one by one. Okay, 1.0 times, uh, okay, this is 11 actually, Ele okay, sorry, 11 plus 1.5, okay, so 11 plus berapa, any, any answer, 11 plus berapa, 10 plus, okay, what is the answer for, for this, anybody, settle this one? And also this one. Okay, this one is here. Okay, here, this one is here. This one you put here. Okay, any any answer? Okay, Vignesh, any, any, any answer here? 6.74. Okay, good, 6.74. So any, anybody? Okay, for the, for, for one more value. Atika ada, Atika Shira ada. Kejap, dah kira. Okay, ay, satu ni je. Zero point something tu. Zero point three four. Okay, good. Zero point three four. Okay, what is the total? Eighteen point zero eight. Eighteen point one lah. Let's see. Okay, so this is the basic. So the basic shall be multiplied. Okay, according to the notes, the allowable. Okay, to get the L over the allowable. L D L over the basic shall be multiplied by the correction factor. Okay, so the correction factor. You find the, okay, uh, this one, the modification or correction factor. Okay, first is due to the uh, steel reinforcement, due to the steel uh, reinforcement or tens tension, uh, for tension only. Okay, uh, is equal to AS uh, provided divided by uh, as uh, required okay actually the, the the question is longer 
So this is the, the equation actually, the correction factor. This one is the equation, okay? 500 divided by FYK as required divided by as proof. So since our FYK is 500, so we can simplify. Okay, we can simplify this equation to become as provided divided by as required. Okay, you can try by yourself how to simplify, how to simplify these equations. Okay, so as provided is equal to 1257 divided by 1109. So, what is the ratio here? 1.1. Okay, 1.13. Thank you. And then the second uh, factor, uh, modific modification factor is equal to, okay, this one. Uh, for the, okay, this one is the, this is a, uh, this one is for the steel reinforcement and then this one is for flange sections where the ratio of flange brace to the rib brace exceed 3. The values of L over D given by expressions, uh, expressions 7.16 should be multiplied by 0 0.8. Okay, but since our, okay, uh, okay due, to, due, uh, due to flange, due to flange, okay, if Okay, if uh, B flange over BW uh, exceed 3.0, so the correction factor, the modification factor is equal to 0 0.8. But our case is, but we use uh, rectangular, rectangular bar, uh, rectangular section. So our modification factor is equal to 1.0. Okay, be careful about this one. And then uh, the third modification factor is belong to the to the span. Okay, if the span exceeds seven meter, which supports partition liable to, to be damaged with excessive deflections, the value of L over D given shall be multiplied by seven over L effective. Okay, okay, seven. So, but uh, since our okay uh, span, our span is uh, equal to seven meter, so so still not exceed the limit. Okay, so still, still not exceed. So the modif modification factor is 1.0. Let's say is if our if our span is eight, okay, at meter. So our uh, modification factor is equal to seven divided by L effective. So seven divided by uh, L effective in meters. Okay, seven seven divided by eight. So equal to something. So this is if if the span is uh, greater than seven meter. Okay, so our now our okay, the set number seven is L over D allowable is equal to L over D basic times the modification factor equal to tadi berapa eighteen point one times the this one okay times uh, 1.13 due to steel okay due to steel is 1.13 and due to the due to the flange okay our modification factor is 1.0 because we we consider the rectangular sections and due to span is still 1.0 because our span is equal to 7 meter not exceed 7 meter yet so equal to what Okay, anybody? Twenty point four five. Okay, good. Twenty point four five, twenty point five, twenty four five mm. Okay, and then we check. We do the. Okay. C is uh, actual, okay, L over D actual is equal to uh, 7,000, okay, the L is 7,000 in mm and our D is 502. Uh, so what is the value of our L over D actual? Thirteen point nine four. Okay, thirteen point thirteen point nine lah. Okay, thirteen point nine mm. 
less than uh, the L over D allowable. Okay, we compare to the 20.5, compare to the allowable value. So if the value is lesser, then it's okay. Okay, so that's all for the checking of deflections. Uh, if fail, uh, so you must uh, recommend uh, uh, something, what, what to do if the deflection is fail. Okay. Okay, class, any, any questions? Okay, I believe no questions. Okay, thank you. Okay, you have to submit uh, this uh, uh, exercise as a proof of participation in the class, okay? Okay, thank you very much for your uh, participation. Okay, thank you.